parking can be a real headache. Whether it's fumbling for change at a meter or trying to find an empty spot in the big city. But in the future, new technologies could make parking a whole lot easier. The parking meter, invented in 1935, is finally getting an upgrade. While many still only accept coins, some newer models are offering drivers the ability to carry a debit card so they can insert the amount they want for the time they need. But that's just the start. Now the mobile phone is becoming a gateway to a smoother parking experience. Everybody's got a mobile phone at this point, and that's going to be a much bigger piece of your interaction with the city. Meet Streetline, a San Francisco-based technology company. They're working with city officials to add networking components to parking meters. You all recognize this as, as a parking meter. Uh, and inside the housing, there's a parking meter where we've got one of our wireless mesh networking devices that connects to the parking meter and gives us real-time information back and forth. So, for example, you might be out and about and far from your parking spot. Soon, you'll be able to feed the meter from your mobile phone. Maybe you paid for an hour, and the phone says after 55 minutes, your time is about to expire. Would you like to add another half an hour? And you say yes, and it goes straight to the meter. So there's no question about whether um, the space is paid or not, and you don't actually have to be there to plug quarters into it. Streetline is also developing new sensor technologies that will help drivers locate an empty parking spot. This is a bump. We call it a bump. It's a vehicle sensor. It tells us when a car is parked in a given parking space. Here's how it works. There's a sensor on the street that detects whether or not a space is filled. If a parking space is open, the sensor tells the map on your phone and marks it green. But once a space is occupied, the map highlights the space as red. The software could reduce overall traffic congestion in cities because drivers are less likely to venture out if they see that spots are unavailable. In fact, city officials estimate that drivers just looking for parking makes up 30% of the traffic congestion in cities. We're going to help people make decisions about when to drive, when to take a taxi, when to take their bike, based on parking availability. So if you're planning a trip and you can look and say, well, I'm never going to be able to park in that neighborhood, maybe I should do it later at an off hour. Giving information to people to allow them to make choices that allows everybody to have a more pleasant place to live. That's, that's part of what we're after. Right now, the new sensor technologies are being tested in Los Angeles and San Francisco, with plans to roll out in other cities later this year. The future of parking. Less hassle for you and less traffic congestion around the city. For Bnet, I'm Sumi Das.